Well, hey, first of all, thank y'all for being here. We appreciate it. Um, we had to grind this one out. Uh, we have been struggling to, to make shots all season, uh, but I will say that we have a grit about us defensively uh, that makes me really proud. The you know, other we sit down and we guard. Um, just didn't have the fluidity that we wanted or needed offensively. Um, and give a lot of credit to Robert Morris and how hard they fight, um, the way that they play, uh, and how aggressive they are on both ends of the floor. Coach, you mentioned grit. Just how helpful is it, and how do you guys manage to lead the nation in offensive rebounds right now? Uh, I think for us, it's something that we obviously practice, and you got to give some credit to uh, to the heart that our girls play with, um, the way that they buy into that being part of our identity uh, is defending and rebounding. Uh, so we go after it pretty hard in practice, and I think that that translates into games. Um, so uh, that's all I really got for you. Uh, there's a little bit of skill involved, I, I guess, someone would say, but I think we just work really hard at it in this group um, takes a lot of pride in it. One thing that really struck me today with the way that you guys play from the very start, everything that you guys did said the word aggression to me from the way you started the game, from the way you get offensive rebounds, from the way you get defensive rebounds. You're telling your players to keep their mentality up. You're telling your players to get the ball up the court. What is it like for you as a coach to see these players do that and succeed while doing it? Oh, first of all, thank you. Uh, Cause sometimes I don't always <laughs> feel that way. Uh, <laughs> but but I appreciate it. Uh, I, I, when I watch them, and especially we've just got a lot of talented guards, I think, and, and what our post players are doing to make sure that they can figure out how to keep up with them uh, is to be complimented as well. But I think our, our point guards and Destiny Jackson and Imani Jefferson, uh, the way that they push the ball up the floor, the way that they pressure the entire court. Um, and then you have Angel Baker, who obviously is extremely talented and gets the lion's share of, of attention uh, from the other team and she still finds a way, you know, to get shots up and, I know today was a little rough one for, you know, but you can always rely on her to never give up and to keep fighting no matter what. All right. One thing that I've noticed from you guys all season is that you do a very good job of turning defense into offense. You get steals, Angel Baker gets on that fast break and it's almost a guaranteed bucket. So just how helpful and what's the mentality around that? Well, the way that we're shooting it, thank goodness, we got a little transition offense. Um, I don't know. I think that that you pinpointed it earlier. You know, I think that we we work really hard defensively, and I think that what we know is we can rely on our defense. Uh, there have been games where we have shot the ball fairly decent, um, but if we're going to give up 70 points a game and, and only score 65, we're going to lose a lot. Uh, so the way that they have – decided that they're going to sit down and defend. Um, we still have some work on our discipline on that end of the floor. We have to stay down and not jump and, and box out consistently. You know, So we still have some things to work on. But I, I love the fact that this team um, has bought in to believe in that defending and rebounding is going to be the key this season. Definitely. You've got some younger players on this team, but younger players that are definitely showing up to play. You mentioned Destiny Jackson, uh, Amani Jefferson, and even – uh, Channing Chapel had an amazing three-pointer from way outside. I mean, wow. Like, I, when she shot it, I thought, that's not going to go in. And it sunk in. Everybody, everybody on the side of the court was cheering her on. So what is it like seeing these freshmen that you recruited just coming in and making some big plays? Well, a lot of credit goes to my staff for that. Um, they have a, a, a great hand in bringing in this really talented class. And, and we do see a lot of Imani and Destiny. But like you said, uh, Chan – who not only made that big time three, but also handled the ball under some pressure and uh, made a couple plays, you know, where she got the ball to the five off the dribble. And it's just really good to watch them and see them grow throughout the season and their confidence that they are gaining in themselves and what their teammates have in them, is what you're saying when you see them cheering. Uh, pretty much every time Chan shoots the ball, you see the whole team doing like this, um, because in practice, she shoots it from just about any and everywhere. And uh, not to omit Diamond Stokes, too, who comes in and gives us yeah. really solid minutes in that five spot. So that class is just really, really talented. What's it like being on this six-game streak right now, just having a lot of momentum while in the heart of conference play? Well, I I'm happy that we're on a streak. We don't think about it a lot. Uh, we just try to take one game at a time. Like we, after 
about eight o'clock tonight, we won't talk about this game anymore. We'll just turn over it and worry about tomorrow's game. Uh, we'll do the same thing for next week, because as far as we know, we could play Robert Morris on back to back weekends. Um, so it, it feels good that we're executing enough, defending enough uh, to come out with the win. But we just have so much work to do uh, still on both ends, but especially offensively, um, that it's hard to celebrate just yet. Like he said, you guys are doing really well right now. You're eight and one in the Horizon League. And as a coach who's won a championship before, you guys are in a really good position to repeat that again. But like you said, are you guys taking this one game at a time? Is that the way that you have to take it? Yes, and, and it's that doesn't have anything to do with the pandemic or the way that the the schedule set up. We've always done that. Um, you know, everybody remembers two years ago, but in, in year one, when we had a, a rotation of seven players and we tied for the conference championship that year, we never talked about the next day. We were, we were always right where our feet were and try to take one practice at a time, one walkthrough at a time and one game at a time. And I think that that helps them and all of us stay focused. How difficult is it when, I mean, you've been doing this all season, when you have to play a team on back-to-back -back days and a weekend, how difficult is it to win game two after winning game one? Well, it, it's always hard. Um, I think that everybody goes back and, and we all are strategizing. How do you prepare for day two? Do you come in and do a shoot around or do you just do a walkthrough? Do you not do a walkthrough and you just bring them all together and have a conversation? And I think that coaches probably have the most angst that whatever decision that we make, we don't find out if it's right until the second game is over. So we are, um, you know, we're going to watch the game and see if we need to get together or if we can just have a conversation. But I think that's the toughest part is making sure we do the right thing for the game that's at hand. Okay. So. The, that's all that I have, Andre, uh, except for congratulations on your 100th career win with Wright State last Friday. You've done some great Thank things you. here. Uh, getting averaging 20 plus wins a season. It doesn't matter where you're coaching basketball, whether you're at UConn, Wright State, if you're in the WNBA, that's an amazing record to have. So congratulations well, to you. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. And as usual, credit goes to players and all the support that we have here at Wright State and all the people that care about what we're doing. That's all I have to congratulations. And it's, it's really been fun watching you guys this season. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.